Hey, what up, everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you with your WWE Fastlane preview. We're kicking it off with what's going to be the WWE Fastlane Mountain Dew kickoff. Uh, they're basically going to be using talking on this segment. It seems that they don't have uh, enough matches to really spill over into the uh, pre-show. I know that there's a few matches that haven't been named yet. Maybe Gold Dust going up against Stardust since they just blew up on Monday Night Raw. Maybe you see the Ascension going up against the primetime players if they don't waste that match on SmackDown this week. But uh, it seems that they're going to be going with Miz TV as the opener. You know, in the in the past few months, we've seen Miz TV used. We've seen the Peep Show used, uh, bringing back, you know, uh, competitors and trying to tie them into what's going down uh, with the show that night. And uh, honestly, Miz bringing Paul Heyman on to Miz TV gives Paul Heyman an, an opportunity to hold the microphone and be there. But... Honestly, Paul Heyman being a part of the pre-show uh, panel uh, was always really good for me. Paul Heyman being able to talk about any match that he uh, deems fit. So many times when we've seen him do these pre-show um, uh, to the pay-per-view, we've seen him just you know blow a match out of the water. A match that nobody really cared about. And he gets under the skin and just basically saying uh, whatever he needs to. If you go back to the Dean Ambrose uh, versus uh, Bray Wyatt match, I can't remember which one it was, but he was a part of the pre-show panel. And he basically broke down everything that Bray Wyatt had said in his promos and basically said, if you don't care about this match, you have not been watching WWE television. This is the hottest match that is going on. I think that more than likely that was probably the December TLC pay-per-view due to the fact that that was the main event of the night. And I think a lot of people were sort of groaning that uh, that, that match didn't deserve to be in the main event uh, for the reason that nobody really cared about. That is exactly what I was saying. Uh, the one reason why I really liked the fact that Paul Heyman was on the pre-show uh, for, for the uh, WWE Network was the fact that he got to sit at the desk and watch the entire show where they kept them out there. And if you go back and you, you check out after the John Cena matches at Hell in a Cell at TLC when he was first one where he was given a shot in order to, to fight Brock Lesnar, but because Brock Lesnar didn't show up at Survivor Series or TLC, the push was the, the match was pushed back to the Royal Rumble. And with that match being at the Royal Rumble, Seth Rollins came in and said that he wanted to take John Cena's number one contendership. So they had a tables match at TLC. At the end of both of those matches, when John Cena was crowned the winner and he was standing up on the uh, turnbuckle sort of waving to the crowd, thanking them for coming to the show and uh, acknowledging that he was the winner and he was going to beat Brock Lesnar. You would just get a camera shot of Paul Heyman just watching, seeing what John Cena was doing and pondering over the fact that, you know, this was Brock Lesnar's number one contender uh, that was going to be seeing a, a match. Uh, sooner than later. This is the guy that is stepping up to the plate to break the streak. And I know that right now, uh, the, 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 the main event of Fastlane is going to be a number one contendership match. It is going to be the main event. But just think of as that show is going off the air, you just see Paul Heyman looking up, looking into the ring, whether if he's looking at Brock Lesnar, I apologize, I apologize, whether if he's looking at Roman Reigns, whether if he's looking at Daniel Bryan, just pondering over, you know, okay, I'm, I, I just, I've just watched this guy, and this is what I'm going to go tell Brock is the scouting report. This is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to, you know, with Daniel Bryan, he's smaller, he's faster than Brock Lesnar. Uh, Brock Lesnar's going to have to be able to trap this guy into a corner. He's going to have to take this guy's knees out. Uh, you can't have this guy running around and using his speed, throwing those kicks. Uh, basically, if it's uh, for Roman Reigns, he's, he's Brock Lesnar would have to outpower this guy, have to put him down, make sure that you take out uh, the the uh, the spear, make sure you take out anything else along the way. Just adding to the storyline of what's going to be going down. I don't see what's going down with Miz and Mizdow at this point, with Mizdow being the personal assistant to the Miz. Definitely, he will be ringside for this one, being... Uh, some part of uh, of this whole skit, but seeing how Miz and Mizdow officially haven't had the real big blow up means that more than likely Miz versus Mizdow is going to be 
a WrestleMania match, which really scares me off. I was hoping that maybe Fastlane would be used for Miz versus Miz Dow. Win, lose, or draw between that match, Miz would be moving on to something better along the way. I know that more than likely we'll be seeing another Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal used for the uh, uh, WrestleMania pay-per-view, but uh, Miz is a guy that I like. I've always stood up for the fact that he won the championship at WrestleMania 27, even though that, that WrestleMania was mainly built around Rock versus Cena, pushing them to the point of WrestleMania 28. I've always thought that Miz was a big part of the future for um, the WWE, and even when he was at the WrestleMania 29 pre-show fighting for the Intercontinental Championship, I thought that was a crime, because I thought this guy is, is a guy of the future for the WWE there's always going to be more chances, but another, you know, WrestleMania where he's not a part of it kind of sucks for this guy. And we're going to have to see what we can do to get him back into the mix and back into the fold. But uh, the uh, Mountain Dew uh, Fast Lane kickoff is going to be uh, <laughs> Paul Heyman on Miz TV. And that's going to be it. See you in the next one.